Hey there, so this is the intro video for a series of videos I want to make that's aimed towards the person who's looking to get into or wants to get more familiar with CTF style cryptography challenges or basically how to go from zero to marginally competent. So why am I making these is kind of like in other videos I've made, I kind of often find myself saying something like, uh, I'm not going to go into depth on this because if you aren't familiar with it, then there's way better resources out there to learn than listening to me. And that's true. But I also realized that one, it's helpful to have everything in the same place. And that if I am someone who the way I explain things works for you, then even if there are people or videos out there who do it much better than I can, like it still has some value. Um, and two, those other resources aren't really going to be aimed uh, or presented in the way that might be the most helpful for someone who's just looking to learn these things to improve at cryptography challenges or just who wants to get more enjoyment and less frustration from a, the crypto category in a CTF. Um, I mean, actually, I guess maybe there are resources out there already specifically aimed at that. I haven't really looked. I kind of don't want to because if I find some, then I'm probably just going to like not forge ahead and make these videos. Um, and even though the point of these is to help other people, it's kind of honestly, it's really just as much for myself because I want to get better at making videos and it, like forces me to produce content. So it's essentially, it's just easier if I, if I pretend this is something no one else has done before and this is a novel video series. Um, so who the F am I and why am I qualified to do this? And the short answer is, I don't know, maybe I'm not. Um, but I do have an undergraduate degree in maths. I had an emphasis in cryptography. Technically, I have a certificate in cryptology, which sounds cool, but doesn't really mean anything. Um, I'm somewhere in the top 200 in, on CryptoHack. I've done almost all the hack the box crypto challenges. At one point I'd done them all, but they've added more and I just haven't really looked at them. Um, I do okay in any of the CTFs and the crypto and the CTFs that I enter. I was a math tutor for several semesters at university. I'm a former professional poker player and who's coached dozens of players. Basically coaching is kind of like the terminology in the poker world for essentially like a poker tutor. Um, so I do have a lot of experience explaining difficult concepts to people who don't yet understand those concepts and in a way that hopefully helps them make the connections necessary to gain that understanding. Who I'm not though is I'm definitely not a math whiz. I'm not some cryptography expert. Like um, I would get completely spanked by the crypto and a hard CTF, definitely any of those crypto specific CTFs. I mean, I hang out in the crypto hack discord and, you know, I've watched the people who are actually really good at that stuff, you know, talk about it and go over stuff. And, you know, they're just on a completely different level than I am. Um, but I actually kind of think that makes me more qualified to do a series like this because I'm just a normal guy who kind of like most people, I just thought math was about solving equations, figuring out what X is. And it was only, I took discrete math. Um, I started out doing computer science and I took discrete math and that was kind of my first exposure to air quotes, higher math. Um, and I just, I don't know, I completely fell in love with it. That's why I switched my major. Um, but I also, I feel like I'm much more aware of like the struggles and the thoughts of someone who's new to all this um, than maybe someone who it all just clicks for or who's way more experienced and just farther along in their journey. And so maybe they don't remember as well how it was at the start. Um, I don't know, or at least that's kind of the story I'm going to shovel to try and convince you to watch these videos and myself to make them. Um, but what this series is going to be is basically, I, I mean, I say it jokingly, but my aim is to make you marginally competent. Um, so the goal is to go over the different areas and the different concepts that you're going to run into or the stuff that you're going to need to know. Uh, I, I want to expose you to the math, but I want to make it accessible. So even if you aren't someone with a lot of math experience, hopefully it'll still make sense and it'll kind of like get you used to the things you're going to see or need to know. Um, and since the aim of challenges is basically to break the crypto cryptography, uh, I'll be explaining 
you know, what it is you want to look for, what kind of attacks are possible, um, the different things you're going to see. Uh, so I figure I'll just have a video specific to each kind of subject. You know, there'll be a video for RSA, a video for elliptic curves, a video for, you know, AES, uh, you know, all that kind of stuff. Uh, one thing I definitely won't be covering, though, is all the classic like substitution cipher stuff. So Caesar and Visionaire and all those like, even though I know sometimes you'll still see those in like uh, beginner cryptography. Um, I don't know, they're just completely uninteresting to me and I don't enjoy them. So I'm not going to do that. So if you do run into something like that, I don't know, go to what is it? Decode.fr and hope for the best. Uh, and then I'm going to try and maybe put in a couple challenges uh, from past CTFs that fit in with what I'm going over on in that video. So you can kind of have something to practice on. And then there's write-ups available for them if you get stuck or can't figure it out. Or maybe I'll go over them in the video. Or maybe I'll just release another video a couple days later that specifically goes over those challenges. I'm kind of not really sure yet. Um, if you can't tell, there's been a ton of thought that's gone into this i mean especially i mean clearly hours have been spent just on the slides alone so um, when i'll be doing this is kind of whenever i make the videos um i want to try and do a video a week that would be like i don't know my goal in my head i guess but i'd never actually believe that if i were telling myself that lie so i don't really want to sell it to you um, basically it just kind of depends on how well I get over, you know, all the ADHD shit of, you know, perfectionism and thought spiral, you know, all that garbage. Um, but yeah, I mean, who knows? It's also possible I'll get super focused and excited and like, just put them all out in a week or something. I mean, it's not likely, but you know, it could happen. Um, so yeah, basically I guess, uh, Hopefully this is something enough people are interested in that it'll be rewarding to make. Hopefully it'll be rewarding to watch. If you're still listening to me ramble, it means you got through this video. So you're probably one of those people who would like, this is interesting for you. So if you do have any suggestions or comments about what it is you want to see, like, please let me know in the comments. It'd be super helpful. Um, also, if you want to, you could like and subscribe. Watch that little number go up in the dashboard on my YouTube creator thingy kind of validates my whole existence um that's the joke uh kind of um seriously though um yeah thanks for watching and yeah take care